Well, hello there. We are just done day number 69. It's a magic number for some. Get the minds out of the gutters, folks. Day number 69, all done. And look where we are, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I tried to get a shot there and that didn't work, so I'll walk over here. Uh, behind us is the arena in which I spent a lot of my college years at. The Yardman Arena. We are in Belleville, Ontario. We are one day ahead of schedule. Uh, and uh, we ran from Napanee, beautiful Napanee, to, uh, to Belleville. Today we crossed uh, Deseronto, the tie into Nega Reserve, and uh, Shannonville as well. Over to my left, I want to introduce you to a fella. No. <laughs> a fella who is, uh, well, he thinks he's the king of the grill, but oh, look at this. Burning all my burning all my veggie dogs. It's hard, hard to cook veggie dogs. <laughs> He's claiming it's hard to cook veggie dogs, but I don't know. Maybe I'm going to have to give him a lesson on cooking. Grilling. No, I'm just kidding. He's doing a fine job. Thank you so much, Rob. Rob manning the grill for another night. Um, excellent cook. Uh, after our run today, um, we, I guess last night, I want to say thanks to the Isbister family, I believe. Is that how you pronounce the last name? The Isbister family? Uh, in Napanee, they hosted us last night. Um, friends with the Morris family. Um, my cousin, the late uh, Jessica Morris, she used to work with the Isbister family. So um, uh, we, we made the connection and hooked up with them last night and um, had a great time. Met their, uh, their kids. And um, so, hey guys. Um, they now are rocking the Troy's Run bracelets, which is cool. And um, anyway, after today's run, we went back to Napanee to meet with the uh, the Rotary there, and uh, more importantly, uh, Hugh Finley. Now Hugh Finley is a hero now of mine. Um, I didn't know a story before. I knew the story of Scott. Scott Finley used to play or used to used to ski on the national ski team and uh, suffered a brain injury. Now Hugh Finley is his father. And, Hugh is trying to, he's been behind this push to get a, a brain injury uh, facility um, to house those with brain injuries. And here's the thing that he's pushing for. And this is what we discussed today. He said it's so important for him to uh, to get this center in Napanee built for his son because he's aging. Uh, and, uh, you know, he someone needs to be there to look after his son. And there's just not no facilities. Like, there are not many facilities uh, across Canada before that and so Scott it would be obviously put into say a long care long care home and uh, sorry I keep trying to itch my nose I got one hand my drinks in the other my protein shake anyway um, so Hugh is pushing to get a facility opened up and it's happening folks and it's uh, it's gonna be it, 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 the Napanee acquired brain injury and rehabilitation home the big thing Hugh was talking to me about was the rehab portion of it so a lot of the times People with brain injuries we um, get put into, say, long care facilities. And the truth is a brain injury is always healing. So Hugh said, you know, the, that thing, the thing to it was the rehab portion of it. So it's not just going to be a long care home. Sure, it's going to offer services and whatnot. The big thing being the rehabilitation. So uh, kudos to uh, Hugh Finley. Uh, his son Scott obviously is just so proud of him. Uh, so happy. I mean, Scott, the survivor. Scott, you're uh, you're a hero of mine, and so is your father for doing what he's doing. And uh, man, so thank you guys so much for that uh, today. Met with those guys afterwards, uh, and then after we met with uh, Hugh, we met with the Rotary, and uh, just a great time. The local media in Napanee, and uh, again we we went back to the Isbister um, homestead and and met with the kids again, and had a great great afternoon. And we're now back in Belleville at the Yardman Arena. We're going to meet up with my, my good friend, uh, Mr. David Foote, a uh, college buddy of mine, uh, a local radio um, guru. He now has moved up the ranks uh, at uh, CJBQ and calls some of the uh, Belleville Bulls hockey games. He also calls Wellington Dukes games. So uh, I'll meet with Footy um, later this evening. We might go catch a flick or something, mandate or something. <laughs> Sorry, Foote. Uh, but uh, that's it for me. Um, that's the update. Uh, I've got to eat my, my grub. Keep getting made fun of. Rob thinks I should be eating the chicken, not the fake faux meat. But got to gotta keep lean. Ooh, uh. Check Facebook because we have uh, 
pictures from from the uh, the check presentation uh, tonight to Mr. Hugh Finley from the Rotary Club, and uh, pictures with with the gang, the Isbister family. So again, guys, uh, check us out online, troysrun.com. The pictures are posted at uh, www.facebook.com forward slash cross Canada run. Even if you don't have Facebook, you can get on there and check those pictures out. And uh, of course, find us on Twitter at Troy's Run. So let me say that again on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash cross Canada run. On Twitter at Troy's Run and www.troysrun.com. All right, tomorrow is uh, Belleville, Trenton, and I believe we're finishing up just outside of Brighton. Thank you to uh, the CJBQ. Uh, crew mix 97 here in Belleville. We hit them up this morning with a radio uh, interview, and then uh, tomorrow we're also on the air on their FM station. I believe it's 95.1, but uh, I'll uh, I'll post the link uh, later. All right, check you later, guys.